it's the Insane Gamers, and I'm back again for another 5th generation Pokemon battle. And today I'm fighting somebody who actually has a YouTube account. I can't believe it. So yeah, this was not a Seri battle. It was a battle who, uh, it was a battle who wanted a person with me. That sounds really wrong. It was a person who wanted a battle with me, and, um, I guess now I'm gonna start accepting battles, so if you... If you wanna battle me, send me a personal message, cause... It might not get to me if it's in the comment, just to let you know. So I lead off with uh, an old favorite, an old friend of mine, Obugger. It's the first lead I ever had, so I thought I'd bring it back, because it was just awesome. So he leads with a ninja bug, and that bug boss did a lot, but I know it probably wouldn't kill me since that thing isn't all that powerful. Anyway, if I will change out, and I go to Crunchify, and Crunchify is a freaking speed boost, um, Sharpedo, like... <laughs> If you thought Blaziken was bad, wait until you see this thing. No, actually, Blaziken's worse, because it can, you know, it has sword stance. Um, but anyway, just get my speed boost so I can outspeed him. Finish off with a waterfall, because it's about all I could do, you know, to outspeed and kill this guy. So he sends in a Leafeon now, and uh, i got a switch. I don't carry Ice Fang or Ice Beam or Ice anything. So I'm going to go out to this is Sparta! Except Sparta isn't there, you've got to, you've got to imagine the meme. So anyway, he quick attacks, it does absolutely nothing. This guy's a dedicated physical wall. And, um, <laughs> what? Speed boost? Wait, speed boost what? Speed boost what? Yeah, uh, he, that was a sad fail. Uh, he told me that he mistakenly gave it speed boost. So he said, you know, just go ahead and kill it. It was his fault, and he's just gonna allow it to die. Uh, which is the honorable thing to do, because, obviously, if you make a mistake, uh, and you give a Pokemon an ability it shouldn't have, then you shouldn't, you know, take advantage of it, it should just sort of... Either way, it was the right thing to do, so, just finish this guy off with a Mega Horn, and, um, that's the end of the Leafeon. I'm surprised it actually killed it in one hit, this guy doesn't have any attack EVs, but then again, he has the highest base attack of any bug type, so... And steel type, for that matter. So, sends in a hi 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 Daruma. How you doing? So, um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, go into my Garchomp now. And, um, Garchomp gets the ability Rough Skin in the Dream World. And I gave it that because I could break sashes and stuff if they attack me. Also, I'm holding a, a particularly awesome item. But you'll see it in a sec. So, I just go for the Earthquake, switches into this thing. Um, by the way, this is a mixed Garchomp, it's got Claw Sharpen, Dragon Rush, Earthquake, and Fire Blast, so it's not like a typical Choice Scarfed Noob Chomp, even though, y y you know, anyway. So it's a 3-hit KO, which is kind of surprising, I mean, that turtle's a beast. So, knocks off my Red Card. Red Card something? What? Okay, anyway, what happens, uh, what a Red Card does is if you get hit by a special-based attack... It forces the opponent to switch, which is kind of cool, because I can use Claw Sharpen, they use a special attack, they get forced to switch, and I basically get a free Claw Sharpen. Anyhow, boiling water, I Claw Sharpen there, because, um, you know, I saw that he wasn't really able to do anything, but he goes for boiling water, gets a crit, luckily no burn, because that would have stunk. And I just finish him off with an EQ. Um... I guess I should have just finished it, because now he can send in his hi-hi, how you doing, Daruma, and kill me, which sucks, but, oh well, I, you know, I don't really care that Garchomp dies, because it's a Garchomp, I mean, I'm just using it, because I want to see how it does, uh, so, anyway, obviously, it's, it's angry at Onanakus, Onanakusu, whatever it's called, because it stole its, you know, it stole its spot as the uber dragon, Anyhow, um, I'm gonna go into Crunchify now, because I can get my speed boosts, and with a speed boost, I can outspeed his scarf. Hi, hi, how you doing, Daruma? So I'm gonna finish him off with a waterfall, and see what he sends out next. Now, the awesome thing about speed boost Sharpedo is it's really easy to get a late-game sweep with it, because if you weaken their team, uh, Sharpedo's got pretty good type coverage. I mean, it's got water, dark, and, um, ground-type moves. Anyway, in comes an Alakazam. I protect because I just did for a speed boost, even though I probably could have easily outsped it anyway. I just did. Now, Alakazam gets Magic Guard in the Dream World, which allows it to have a sash that can't be broken by uh, entry hazards, but uh, this guy doesn't carry a sash, so whatever. That's no problem. Finish off that guy. And I th believe he has one, one Pokemon left. Yep, it's this thing. This guy is pretty cool. It's like an ice-type special-based wall. It has... Ridiculous special defense. 
Um, but it's not so hot in physical defense, so it goes down to one waterfall. Anyway, that was an awesome battle, and I hope to show you how beastly my taboon is next time.